All I can say is, wow, Thunder Junction has come out, uh, well, pre-release weekend, and it has been a smash success from flavor to power level of the cards to people enjoying actually what's in the subsets. Still too many subsets. It's been an absolute smash success, and I am so excited for Thunder Junction going forward. Let's talk about it in this video and, and you know, go over some things that I like about it and what it looks like in the future. Stick around. I am absolutely floored at uh, at the power level, flavor, just everything about this set. From my first, you know, sort of introduction to it this weekend, uh, pre-release, I just had an amazing time. The card seems so powerful. Everybody was excited to open packs. Cases were flying off the shelves. I mean, it's it's one of the first times I've been to a store and I saw pretty much everybody who walked into that store leave with sealed product. It It is... It made that good of a first impression. And I'm just, I'm so elated. And I'm sure many of you who are watching, if you know, if you like, you know, my content, um, you know, I'm all about positivity. And the amount of positivity that I saw at my LGS and what I saw on Twitter and what I'm seeing from these YouTubers um, who are putting out similar stuff to me everybody's super, super happy about it. When you couldn't say that, you couldn't say that for, for, uh, Karlov Manor, you know? I mean, everybody knows, you know, I'm, I'm very positive on Kar Karlov Manor. I think the set has good enough cards in it to support it in the future. Obviously right now it's not what people want. It's too complicated to whatever. It's just too much of something or too little of something. It's just something's missing at the current moment, but we're not talking about Karlov Manor. But it seems like, it seems like Wizards and Hasbro really crossed their T's, dotted their I's, and put out a solid product that everybody could be happy about. And me personally, I, I, I can't be happier that it's for, uh, you know, that it's for this set that they did so well. Um, I personally love the Wild West theme. I grew up watching uh, Wild Wild West. It's one of my favorite movies ever. Um, I mentioned this in another video, but apparently that's on like one of like the top 20 worst movies list. So uh, a little bit of an L there for me, but I love that friggin' movie. And if you love Wild Wild West too, throw it in the comments, hashtag Wild Wild West. And if you haven't, you know, subscribed to the channel, consider it. We talk about MTG finance news, things that are going around, just just magic in general. We love talking about it around here and, and I appreciate all 258 of you, 250 already, incredible. But back to Thunder Junction. Um, Let's, let's go over the mechanics. Let's go over the main mechanics that I saw in, in this, like, committing a crime seems very strong. Just the act of doing that, and I'm sure it's going to be great in other formats, and I really do think that somebody's going to break it. I, I don't know if it, you know, it might be a standard deck. I mean, it probably will be a standard deck at some point, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw, like, commit a crime cards in, like, Pioneer or, like, you know, maybe even like Popper or something like that. It just seems like such a cool thing and, and people are already, you know, committing crimes now. So if now you have payoff cards for it, it seems really, really powerful. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if, it, let's not even talk about that, but yeah, it, commit a crime seems to be an amazing, amazing uh, a mechanic or what is that? Is that a mechanic? I don't know. But uh, but the other one I want to talk about was plot. Now, plot <clears throat> seems to be a lot like Fortel, except way better. Um, I really like that you could just pay the cost up front, and then you get it absolutely for free, but just at a further turn. So, like, if you're a red deck and you're stalling on three, and you have that plot dragon for three, that's, that's you know, a 7-7, seven, seven, you know, minus all the cards in your hand. Like, that's a huge play, and I'm sure there's, you know, cards in blue. I haven't looked over every card in the set. I honestly, to be perfectly real with you, I only played against Gruul, and I had a blue, uh, sorry, I had a black-red deck, so I only got three colors um, in all of my, uh, in all of my groupings, but I saw a couple, I saw a couple spree cards that were pretty cool, but plot seems just very, very good just on first look. Um, I don't know if it's going to be anything amazing after the fact, but it seems very powerful and I'm excited to see what people do with it. That being said, you know, we have to give it a little bit more time, but Spree, Spree is the big one. Spree is absolutely the, 
the pinnacle of the mechanics that they've let out. I think spree cards, and I am not a speculator of single cards by any means, and, and I'm not suggesting anybody gets into it personally. Personally, I think it's a bit of a gamble. And, you know, just getting into uh, any single cards right now, maybe not reserve list, I, there's obviously a place for that. But with the reprints they've been doing, be careful. Uh, Moxman was talking about Shieldred and, and how he thought it was safe. And actually, I think he had a lot of good points there. But still, there, there's a lot of um, fear and uncertainty with single cards. But Spree cards look incredible. Just, you know, you get this modal instant or sorcery and you get to like just pick the mode and just pay extra. It's like it's like kicker, but with more choices. It's it's so incredible. And oh I I really do think it's probably one of the greatest sets to uh, greatest mechanics to come out. Sorry, Biggie's losing it. Yeah, I am just to the moon with Spree. Um, that, uh, what is it? The final showdown card, that instant speed, you know, board wipe, pretty sweet. And it's also like, isn't it like a dress down also for two, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's even that, um, oh, I played it. What is it? Like dread of blood or something like that. It's that three, uh, one generic, two black. Um, and then you could like plus one for, you know, them sacrificing half their creatures rounded up. Uh, plus an additional one for, you know, discarding half their hand, and then plus two, I think, at the end for uh, for losing half their life total rounded up. But honestly, just an incredible, incredible mechanic. They threw it on some pretty powerful effects. And honestly, it seems like like they wanted to go this route. I think I think this was the set that was supposed to, you know, really propel the the play booster. And to be honest with you, you see it in the price. The The price of the play booster last week, I'm pretty sure they were going for like maybe 120, 125. They're already up to 140. I, I did not see that coming. I will be the first to, to say I was wrong. I thought it was going to be draft boosters of like, you know, modern sets from a couple of years ago. We're going to sell until they started to move up and then people would go to play boosters. But no, that is not how this is going. At my LGS sold out immediately, right? I, I went on day two, so I guess not immediately, but they sold out by the end of pre-release. Um, the collector booster staying at 209. I wonder what would happen if TCG player didn't run that stupid sale at 199. Could it still be at 220? But then again, at the end of the day, you want to have people to be able to access the product at a reasonable price. Now, I don't know if $209 is a reasonable price for a sealed product at release of anything, but I will say... I do like that it's staying consistently at that 209 um, rather than, you know, one day it's, you know, up, up here, then it's down there, then it's all over the damn place. I mean, Karlov Manor did that a little bit. Most sets kind of do that now. Um, I think even Lost Caverns did that a little bit. I think it did a little dip, but then, it, you know, it did its thing and now it's up at 300. But it's very promising that after pre-release, there's no panic. There's not a lot of negativity. In fact, I haven't seen any negativity on this set. People aren't even bitch, bitching about loot anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought that was the silliest thing in the world, and, and I knew a lot of a lot of you agreed. But you know, some people have their opinions. But that was the craziest thing in the world to to just hate on that. But yeah, so probably the main gripe that people have um, is the subsets. The subsets in this set are a little. There's a lot of them, but. We all know why that is. It's because they combined like the aftermath or whatever they were going to call it with the just main set. And it created like six, I think it's six uh, different subsets. I don't think we're going to see that again, to be perfectly honest with you. I think they learned their lesson. But even then, people were still happy with it. At draft, people were drafting Mana Drains. People were drafting Oko Thief of Crowns. And people weren't bitching that people play were playing it in their decks. I don't, did they, oh, they may have made the best limited set that they've made since, I mean, shit, I don't know when. I don't know. What What would you guys say? I had a great limited experience. Would you guys, when was the last time you had a really good pre-release or really good draft, like with a new standard set? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested if, if any of you made it here. I don't know. I've made a couple cuts, so I don't know, 10 minutes in. But, uh. Yeah, I, 
I'm just so happy that there's positivity. Now, if I were to throw one little wrinkle in, one little thing I'm, I'm concerned about, I'm a little concerned about the movement of the play boosters. I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised that they did uh, take that, you know, 10% increase um, in price, actually more than 10%, right? Was it 125? Now it's at 144. So about a $20 increase. Yeah, I mean, it's like 15, 16% increase. Um, that concerns me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. When I, when I see those kind of shifts happen and, and like the, the euphoria kind of happen with people that want to get on, on the lower costing product line and then the, the top line product line isn't moving with it. It, it makes, it makes it feel like they're going to meet at some point. And then at some point, either the levy breaks or the collector box or box moves up or everything moves up. That's the only thing that concerns me a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, the people are going to buy what they want to buy. The market's going to do what it's going to want to do. And it's very, very, very happy with Outlaws of Thunder Junction. And I am too. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please throw a like, dislike, comment below. Let's have a conversation. I really like talking with all of you. I cannot thank you guys enough for 250 subscribers. Um, we're on our way to 300. I I feel like I just keep thanking you guys every week for, for another milestone, but I'm incredibly grateful to every single one of you and every single one of you that don't subscribe that still stop by the videos. You guys are helping me get my stuff out and, you know, I, I really just can't thank you enough. So, so thank you for that. If you want to subscribe, if you're still here, feel free. Uh, we upload videos every day, but I will say I'm going on vacation on Thursday, okay? So I don't know if I'm going to be uploading from Thursday until Wednesday. If I do, it'll kind of be like on the beach and, you know, in, in the Dominican Republic. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do an upload on the beach or something like that, or maybe like a pack opening in paradise. If you guys watch Pac-Man, I don't know if that, that's a sports card channel, but a really cool channel. He does like packs in paradise. All right. I'm rambling. All right. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much for dropping by. And once again, thank, thank you all for your support. Seriously. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. Have a great night. Seriously.